Students, this is the second part of today's class. In this class, in this part, you will see the summary. I am going to give you the line by line summary. But one more thing, you will have to match my lecture, my video lecture, line by line using the PDF or the real book. Keeping your real book, you will see, you will match the line by line summary. Student, the poem went. The poem went is a very beautiful poem having a very beautiful message for the life okay so first we will see that what the lines are saying okay then we will discuss the theme and the message of the poem student the poem starts that addressing the wind the poet is addressing the poet is calling the poet is just calling the wind by saying yeah by saying that wind comes softly he is just requesting to wind that uh, it should come softly he says wind come softly don't break the shutters of the windows don't be don't scatter the papers don't throw down the books on the shelf okay the first four lines is like a request to the wind and he uh, the poet is requesting to the wind that it should come softly because when it comes uh, hard uh, when it comes in a hard manner and it breaks the different things of the house it breaks the shutters of the window it scatters the papers and it throws down the books from the shelf even yesterday uh, our area yesterday our area faced a very hard wind okay and i can i have seen that so many trees just uprooted from the ground and fallen the roof of my colony so when the wind blows hard it scatters it destroyed the so the environment okay so the poet is requesting to the wind that it should come softly in the next line there look there look what you did the poem is like a conversation style the poet is talking with the wind there look what you did the poet is just uh, uh, reminding the wind that see what you have done okay you throw them all down you tore the pages of the book you brought rain again when the wind blows hard after the wind the rain comes okay you brought rain again and wind has the power to tow the pages of the book so the poet is saying that you tow the pages of the book and um, you brought rain again you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings the poet is saying that the weak things oh my god the weak things weak things the poet makes fun uh, the wind makes fun by teasing the weak things what uh, so the poet is saying that you are very clever at making at poking fun at the weaklings frail crumbling house is poet is saying that see what you have done crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lives crumbling hearts crumbling c r u m b l i n g crumbling means crushing okay the wind has crushed everything the life the hearts the bodies the wood everything and here you can see the repetition of crumbling and the repetition of crumbling is just empowering the power of the wind okay the wind god winnows and crushes them all the poet says that wind god crushes everything okay and uh, separate the weak things from the stronger things here there is a word wind knows wind knows means to separate the things suppose you can see the stones in the rice and if you are separating the stone from the rice that will be called winnows so the wind god wind god is uh, winnows everything and crushes them all he want to do what you will tell 
the poet is saying that the wind will never do the things what you will tell what you will request he never do that things that means he will never accept the wind never accept your request so this is your duty to make yourself strong so the poet is saying so come let's build a strong homes the poet is saying that you must build strong homes and if you will build strong homes if you will join the doors firmly you will join the doors strongly and if you will be a strong from your heart then wind will be your friend okay the poet is saying that if you will make a strong house and if you will make a strong yourself then wind will be your friends okay the wind blows out weak fires here is a universal truth universal truth means the everyone uh, realizing that this is a very real fact so the poet is saying that 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 wind blows out the weak fires okay when some candles are burning and if you will uh, you will put a very light air on the um, candles then candles will blow out okay so wind blows out the weak fires and it makes a strong fires roar and flourish and if the fire is strong then with the help of wind the fire just becomes become so flourish and roars okay so his friendship is good that means if you will try to make the friendship with wind and that will be very good we praise him every day so this is our duty to make the friendship with the wind and here the poem poem ends so the whole poem is giving you the message to make yourself strong and in the same time it is giving you the weakness so if you you if you want to make friends with the winds then this is your duty to make strong yourself so this is the line by line summary of the poem in the next part i will give you the message and the theme and the poetic devices used in the poem